Five parts. Clock motor, hour and minute hands, clock dial, and wall hanger. Making a wall clock with a quartz clock movement can be amazingly simple. These battery operated clock movements allow you to make a very functional, accurate timepiece without much effort. You'll need a, a piece of stiff dial backing material that you're going to glue an 11 and 1 8 inch clock dial to. Could be a piece of plywood, masonite, or even foam core. In this case, we used masonite. Just cut the material about 13 or 14 inches in diameter so that there is a small border around the 11 and 1 8 inch clock dial. Measure how thick your clock dial is. If it's a quarter of an inch or less, then get the MVT7160A clock movement. If it's thicker, then just choose a clock movement with a threaded shaft length that is an eighth of an inch longer than the material thickness. The threaded shaft has to go through this backing material as well as the 11 and 1 8 inch clock dial with about an eighth of an inch to spare. You will need to drill a 3 8 of an inch diameter hole in your backing material to allow the movement shaft to go through. Be careful to get the exact center of your circle marked correctly. Here we are using a compass and a ruler to determine the exact center. Next, you will want to finish your dial backing material as desired. Here we used masonite and have puttied and sanded the edges, then we sprayed on a quick coat of primer then when dry, some black spray paint just on the edges. Once the 3 8 inch center hole is drilled and the paint is dry, it's time to mount the clock face to the backer material. There are two methods I use. The easiest is to use a roll of thin double face tape, place three or four small pieces around the center hole, and maybe ten small pieces around the outside edge of the clock face. A piece an inch long works just fine, and here we used a little green chalk to mark how we positioned these. The best way to mount a clock face to a backer material is a contact adhesive. It's applied to the back of the clock face and carefully on the front of the backer material. Once dried and carefully installed, it will give you the best possible bond. Whichever way you have chosen to mount the clock face, you will probably find that having something to align the center of the backer material and the clock face is very helpful. I normally hold the backer material up in the air using a few scraps of wood. I place an unsharpened pencil or dowel rod in the mounting hole. Often I have to use some masking tape wrapped around it to get the hole size exactly right. If you had a piece of 5 16 inch dowel rod cut to 4 or 5 inches long, it'd be pretty close to perfect. Carefully slide the adhesive back clock face over the pencil or dowel rod and slide into place. Make sure you have the hole centered as best you can. Press the clock face in place and use a soft clock to smooth out the clock face from the center then going out to the edges. Now it's time to install the clock movement and clock hands. The only tool you might need is a pair of needle nose pliers. Install the steel wall hanging bracket over the movement's hand shaft. Then place a small black rubber washer over the hand shaft next. Slide the clock movement hand shaft through the 3 8 inch center mounting hole. Now slide the small round brass washer over the hand shaft, then carefully thread the hex nut on to the larger part of the shaft. Tighten the hex nut as tight as you can with just your fingers. If the movement can still be turned, then tighten an eighth to a quarter turn more. Do not over tighten this nut. It could cause the movement to run slowly. Time to install your clock hands. Try to work in a well-lighted area and grab your reading glasses if you need them. Just to review, the hour hand is the short one, the minute hand is the long one. Take the shorter hour hand and press it firmly onto the nylon hour hand shaft. Do not press on so far 
that the hour hand actually touches the threaded metal shaft below it. The minute hand does not have a round hole. It's oblong with two flat sides. Make sure you line up the flat sides of the minute hand with the flat sides of the metal minute hand shaft. Press the minute hand on the metal hand shaft. A slight wiggling might be required. Once the minute hand is on, carefully thread the round minute hand cap nut on to the end of the shaft. You're almost done. Just use your fingers to move both of the hands to the 12 o'clock position. That way you know the hands are properly aligned. Then use the time setting knob on the back of the clock movement to adjust to the present time. Install a fresh AA battery in the correct position and you're done. Hang it on a wall. Tell your friends that you made your own decorative wall clock using an accurate quartz clock movement and you did it with less than five pieces. This is Mike Brossman for ClockParts.com. As you have seen, you can make a wall clock with five simple pieces. Visit our website www.clockparts.com or call us at 888-827-2387. Thanks for watching.